This is an echocardiography showing the different views to study the, the heart. We begin with the sub xiphoid view which shows all the four chambers of the heart. Color Doppler study of the sub xiphoid view shows blood flow across both the tricuspid and the mitral valves. Flow was normal. Next, we go to the parasternal long axis view or plaques view to study the left ventricle and the inlet into the left ventricle from the left atrium and also the outlet from the left ventricle into the aorta. A portion of the right ventricle is also visualized. The parasternal long axis view is an excellent view to study the mitral and the aortic valves also. In this case, both the aortic and the mitral valves appear absolutely normal. It is also a good practice to study the aortic valve in the short axis view also. Color Doppler in the parasternal long axis view also shows good flow and normal flow across the aortic as well as the mitral valves. Now you can see flow, normal forward flow through the mitral valve. Flow across the mitral valve is red due to flow towards the transducer, while flow in the aortic valve is blue because it is away from the transducer. There is no evidence of mitral or aortic regurgitation. Next, we study the aortic valve in short axis view. In this case, there are three cusps of the aortic valve and hence it is a tricuspid aortic valve which is normal. In some cases, and quite rarely, we may see two cusps or even four cusps of the aortic valve. Next, we come to the apical four-chamber view. Here, we can see both the right atrium as well as the right ventricle and also the left ventricle and the left atrium. This is also an excellent view to study the mitral and the tricuspid valves. The apical four-chamber view offers the best view to image the right ventricle and the right atrium and the tricuspid valves. Color Doppler in the four chamber view also shows normal flow across the tricuspid valve and the mitral valves. There is no evidence of any regurgitation or incompetence of the mitral or the tricuspid valves.